Hi friends, it's Nancy from Stampin' Shout. Welcome to my Facebook Live. It's Tuesday night. I'm here every Tuesday at 7 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. So if you're watching live, go ahead and say hi. And if you're watching on replay, go ahead and type in replay. Either way, type in your comments and questions and I'll be sure to answer them. So let's see, before we get started, <clears throat> excuse me, I want to thank everyone who shared my uh, video last week and my post about my video. So I put the names into a little box and I drew out the names and the winner of my thank you for sharing gift goes to Claire Ray. So thank you so much, Claire. I think you actually had a watch party, which was really, that was extra nice, so thanks a lot. So I'm sending you a full-size stamping ink pad. Uh, you just need to send me your address. So either email it to me at stampandshout at gmail.com or you can um, send me a private message via Facebook. So thank you so much, I appreciate it. So again, if you share this video, and my post about my videos, and I always put share this video, I put your name into a little box and then I draw the names out before my video and I will send you something just as a thank you. So I appreciate it. Um, so I'm excited about tonight's projects because they're guide projects and it's really, really hard to think of guide projects. Don't know why, but it, you know, I think it's because as a card maker, we want to really do a whole bunch. We want to really fuss a lot, you know. And it's guys like it simple, I think. So uh, it's kind of hard to think of something. But I have a couple of good projects for tonight, so I'm excited to show them to you. Um, I am using some retiring paper. So what that means is, Stampin' Up has a new catalog coming out June 3rd. So everyone's all excited about that. And whenever that happens, there are a few products that we get retired. Um, a lot of the DSP gets retired, um, but a lot of great new products come out. So it's like, uh, you know, good on both ways, good both ways. Um, so tonight I'm using the retiring designer series paper called Country Club. So it's you can still get it all the way through June 3rd. So if you like tonight's projects or you, you really want some golfing designer series paper, I suggest you go ahead and get this before it sells out. Um, it's 12 sheets of 12 by 12 um, paper. So you'll see it in a little bit, some of it. Um, let's see what else I want to tell you. I um, think that's it for now. We'll talk a little bit more as we get started, but let's look at the projects, okay? So what I have is a card and it's I use the Country Club Golf Designer Series paper. It's a pretty easy card. Um, not a lot of stamping, but a great way to use up your designer series paper. And then I made this cute little box. It's kind of like a match box because it just slides in and out. So I made the box and then I made the slider to go around it and it holds three golf balls. I thought that was kind of fun. Okay, so let's start with the card. So let me bring in my supplies. Um, the base is garden green and it's eight and a half by five and a half and I scored it at four and a quarter and then I'm going to have two matte pieces in the night of navy and this is five and a quarter by four inches and then I have strips of designer series paper and I have let's see I have seven strips and they are three quarters of three quarters of an inch by three and three quarters so I have seven and I just basically cut all the little, just did all the different designs that I wanted. So if you can see this one has the golf clubs, the opposite side's got this fun diamond argyle type look. Here's a plaid. I like this one. It's got golf carts on it. I love this one. It's got golf club or golf tees and the golf balls. And the other side's got a blue navy, knight of navy plaid. There's the green plaid again. And then the fun all different colors. This piece here, uh, I, I don't have it out right now, but this was fun because it had like a, a guy golfer and a girl golfer and you could color it in. So that's that's a fun fun uh, sheet that came with this. And I also have this one. So this, this was a lot of fun to use. And wh what I did here was I cut some of these pieces out for tonight's projects. 
So you'll see what I'm talking about as we continue on. So what I'm going to do is I think I'll go ahead and make the the base the backdrop. So I'm going to do that with I'm going to use glue. And the reason I'm using glue instead of the snail is because I can move it around a little bit because you're going to just have to play with this uh, and position the pieces where you want them. So what I did was, let me get my little pieces all here in the order I want. Uh-oh. Why is it every time I make something? Let me see here. Got the yellow. I got my green plaid. I got my all different colors. I got this one. I think I'm short one, one piece. So let me cut one really, really quick. It's this pretty, pretty gray paper. I guess that's an argyle, like argyle, I'm not sure. So let me go ahead and just bring in a quick cutter here. I'm just gonna cut it to three quarters by Oh, I gotta cut that a little bit longer. Three and three quarters. I didn't quite cut that long enough. Oh, look it. Ha! Huh. Nope, that's not it. Silly girl. Let me... Okay, so there. I got all my pieces, all my paper strips cut out. So I'm just gonna start gluing them on. And I started at one end. I'm going to start at this end, and I just put a little bit of glue on the back just to hold it, and I positioned it down. So I'm just, I know I need a little bit of, a, um, of edge on each side, so that's all I did. And then I, I went to the other side and did the next one. So I went down here, make sure you have your golf carts going the right way. So I'm using the opposite side. So again, obviously you can use this with any of your designer series paper. So don't throw any of that paper away, save it. It makes really, really pretty cards. I'm going to jump over to this side. I'll give you my method for my madness in a second. So easy, right? I saved this one for last because it's Knight of Navy, and if for some reason I didn't lay these pieces down exactly, I think with this last piece being Knight of Navy, uh, it wouldn't show up as much. But i got to make sure I have my golf bags going in the right direction. So see, if it didn't fit exactly right, like if you didn't position it exactly right, with it being Knight of Navy against the back, the uh, matte piece, Knight of Navy, you wouldn't notice it. Okay, so that is our, the back piece. So then I took another piece of that designer series paper, and I cut this, and this is two and three quarters by two and a quarter, and I cut a matte piece that is two and seven eighths by two and three eighths, so just slightly bigger. And then I attach these two. I know I've told you guys this before, but the software I use, is I can use, I can see your comments, but I can't see who is, whose name is behind the comment until after the video is over. When I go back and reread everything, then I can see who everyone is. And I say hi back, and I answer any questions that you may have. So that's that. Now we need to bring in a little strip, and we're going to do a little bit of stamping. We're going to stamp Happy Birthday and Night of Navy. 
So this strip is one half inch by two and a quarter. And it fits my little happy birthday stamp. Let me show you the stamp set that I'm using for the sentiments. This is Itty Bitty Birthdays, and this will be back in the new catalog. I love this stamp set. It's got the just great sentiments, and not just for birthday. It's got It's Your Day, Cheers to You, So Exciting, Happy Day, So Let's Celebrate You. So even though it says birthdays, it's really, really a good stamp set for a lot of fun sentiments. So that's one of my favorites. So again, inking this up in Night of Navy. I'm going to bring this down a little bit so I can see it a little bit better. Awesome, I did it. It's hard to stamp off center. <laughs> Usually you got your head right over it, right? Um, let's see. So this I'm just going to attach with glue. I'm going to put it right in the center of the flags. And I'm going to pop it up. So I'm going to bring in my dimensions. How's this for an easy card? This golf paper. Amazing. I, it's probably going to sell out. So. Uh, Everyone loves it. So many things you can do with it. We're going to make a box, in a, like I said, in a few minutes. But little candy holders and goodie bags. Okay, I'm going to center this. Okay, now I'm going to put this right on my card base. Then for the inside, I like that. For the inside, I went ahead and I stamped Awesome at Any Age. Again, that's from the Itty Bitty Birthday stamp set. And I'm going to attach it to a Navy, a Knight of Navy matte piece. Um, I always like to matte my cards. I just think it really adds a little bit more of a... Just, I don't know, just that's the way I learned to make them, and that's how I love to make them. So I think it really adds a lot to the card rather than just stamping on the inside. Okay, so then I was thinking, do I just want to leave it like that? So I actually cut out a couple of pieces from that designer series paper, and I'm going to play with it a little bit, and I'm just going to glue those on. Just because, just to add a little bit of something. Not a lot of stamping with this, just the sentiments. Just some fun guy elements, just basic design. Then I'm going to attach this to the inside of my card. How easy was that? So if you have a golfer, this is a great card to make. My father-in-law is a golfer. Actually, he was a golfer. He's not doing much golfing nowadays. He's getting up there, but his birthday's in June. <clears throat> his birthday actually falls on Father's Day this year, so this will be perfect for him. There you go. What do you think? Do you like it? It's kind of fun, right? Easy? Love easy. So, the box. The box. Isn't that fun? I like it with the, with the tea in there. By the way, I was moving this around. If you ever need to find out any information, go to my blog, www.stampandshout.com. I have the information on the cards that I do on my Facebook Live. I have the shopping information there. I have 
what else do I have there? I have, I was going to say something and I forgot what I was going to say. I was going to talk about make and takes. If you're interested in the supplies to make these two projects, uh, when somebody shops with me and they use the current host code, I send them the all the supplies that they need to make the projects. So I do that for 48 hours after my video. So if someone sees the video and they, they, they want to make a purchase and they make a purchase, I like to send them a little thank you gift and it's the make and take. So um, that's the information right here. So you just go to stampandshout.com and there's all the information is there. So again, let's bring, let's make the card base. These are the pieces I'm using. Again, that's the Country Club Designer Series paper. It's that two-sided paper. See, there are the flags that I used on the card. And we're going to use this side for our box. So let me bring in my scoreboard. And So for the box, this is cut to eight and a half by five and a quarter. And on the eight and a half side, I'm going to score it at one and three quarters. And six and three quarters. I wasn't reading right, sorry. <laughs> six and three quarters. And then on the five and a quarter side, five and a quarter, I'm going to score it at one and three quarters and three and a half. Basically what that is is one and three quarters on all four sides. That's what that is. One and three quarters on all four sides. So we'll get this out of the way for now. I'm going to bring in my paper snips. First thing I want to do though is I'm going to go ahead and looking for my bone folder here. I know it's here somewhere. And I'm going to give these score marks a nice crease. Whenever you make boxes, you want to make sure you have a nice crease. It keeps that box nice and nice and sharp. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut up on the score lines up to the first intersection right there. So and I'm going to do that on the opposite side. So I just made my tabs. So these tabs I'm now going to angle. I'm just going to give them a, a little haircut here. Just angle them off just to make it lay a little bit better when I put my whole box together. tabs. Then I'm going to bring in my tear and tape. I love this tear and tape. Stampin' Up oh, makes the best tear and tape. Why? Because you can tear it. <laughs> so I'm going to put my box together like this. When I'm all done, put my box together. So what I like to do is flip it over and put the tear and tape on the outside of the tabs. And I'm just going to gonna put it on each tab on the outside, right by the fold, right by the score line. all four tabs. And then I'm going to 
just going to peel that tear and tape off on two sides. Then I'm just going to fold that tab in and I'm going to match the fold with that edge. I have to bring it up so I can see what I'm doing. Same thing on the other side. Fold the tab in, match that fold up with the edge. Do the same thing on the other side. Tearing tape's not coming off on this one. It wants to take everything, even the glue. There we go. So, I'm going to just match the straight edge up with the fold. Straight edge up with the fold. There's our box, okay? So then, what I did was I cut out a few more of those little fun pieces from this. Now this is totally optional and I put them on the end of, of the box. So if you look, I put some fun, fun little stuff on the end of the box. So I cut out two matte pieces in the Night of Navy and this is, hang on, I got this written down. This is one and five eighths square, and these two little whisper whites are one and a half inch. So I just took, I have extra glue out here, I keep picking that one up. So I just cut out this cute little golfing little emblem, and I'm going to attach it to the center of this square, this one and a half inch square, and then I attach this to the navy. Now this again is totally optional, but hey, I'm fussing for these guys, so I might as well just keep going at it, right? So that's what I did on one end. And on the other end, let me bring in my stamp. I brought in the stamp that says, it's sure to be a fun day. And I stamped it right at the bottom, and I'm going to glue Oops, let me show you. I stamped it right at the bottom, and I'm going to show you that. And then I cut out this piece, and I put it right up at the top. So let me ink this up in the Night of Navy. And I'm going to stamp before I glue this down, in case I make a boo-boo. Perfect. So now I'm going to glue that little cutout on there. right up here. And I'm going to attach that to my little mat piece. And I'm going to put this on each end. on there. Then, for the slider part, i got to bring back in my scoreboard. So the slider is five inches by seven and three quarters, and on the seven and three quarters inch side, I'm going to score it at one and seven eighths, three and five eighths, five and three eighths, and seven and a quarter. 
Oops. And then we're going to bring in my bone folder again and give these a good, good crease. Then I'm going to put some tape on the outside tab. So I'm just going to, you could do a whole strip of tape, but if you don't need to, I'm just going to do three, three little pieces. going to make the slider. It's going to peel off the, the backing. It's the hardest part, right? The box is easy. There we go. Just getting it started. So I sent out catalogs to my um, my customers, and um, I'm hoping you got them. I didn't. I don't have mine yet, so. I think that the mail is very, very slow these days. There we go. Let's fold that down. Ta da! Let's bring in our golf balls here. slider right on there. Okay, now we're going to bring in the denim ribbon. Not going to tie a fancy bow, just a nice little flat bow. Just a little bit of something here. Got a T. Put it in the middle here. And we're gonna trim it. And there you go. Isn't that fun? I love it. How cute is that? How sweet is that? How guyish is that? <laughs> I keep saying guyish, right? So we got that. And then our birthday card. You could do Father's Day too, obviously, or retirement. Just happy day. Whatever. So there you go. I hope you enjoyed tonight's projects. Please leave me some comments or questions, um, and please share my video, I'd appreciate it. And again, anyone who shares the video will get put into my drawing for um, to win a thank you for sharing gift next week. Um, again, um, thanks to Claire Ray for sharing last week, I appreciate it, and thank you to everybody, I appreciate it. Um, if you have any questions, make sure to let me know. Thanks for being here. I really, really appreciate it. Stay safe. Until next time, don't be shy. Stamp and shout.